Hey everyone. Um, kind of have to be awkward in this shot because I wanted to do a video with Abby. Um, originally Crowley was in the shot, but he decided that he was too good for YouTube. So this is going to be just a story about Abby instead. Besides, I think she wants the extra attention anyways, if you could tell. <laughs> um, so this is Abby, which is not short for Abigail, as you might think. It's actually short for Abaddon. Um, which is a character from Supernatural, um, a demon, to be specific. <laughs> yeah, you were named after a demon. It's okay. You're a sweetie, though. Oh, Carl is now getting jealous. I don't think I'm going to be able to post this video. Sit down. You can be in the video, too, but sit down. Sit down. Sit. <laughs> this is Crowley. Hi, bug. <laughs> yep, okay. Don't drool on me. I have paper towel here because he likes to drool <laughs> a little bit. Um, so yeah. Never mind, this, this, this video is going to be about both of them. They both want ovens. <laughs> um, so, Abaddon, and then this is Crowley, because now you can't see Abby. <laughs> this is Crowley. Um, also named after a demon in Supernatural. Uh, the King of Hell, to be specific. Um, I thought giving him a menacing name would make him menacing. He is not. <laughs> no. You've got sand all over your eyes. But I had them outside before I did this video. And when I let these stupid dogs in, they were covered in sand. So, in case you were wondering why this is covered in plastic, that's why. To keep the sand pits off of the couch. So anyways, um, apparently yesterday was National Dog Day or National Pet Day or National whatever they come up with these days. And I didn't realize it until probably about 8 o'clock last night. I was like, well, I'm not doing a video now. So decided I was going to do a video today about my dogs. Because um, you guys have seen the cats, so I don't, you don't see the dogs too often. So here they are. Um, and it's kind of a challenge to get them in the shot and get me in the shot appropriately because this tripod is just not being my friend and sound and there's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But <laughs> um, I figured I'd share how I got these guys. Um, obviously, they're not brother and sister from the same litter, but they are brother and sister. <laughs> um, I got Abby first. And uh, she's five, so she was during a different time in my life. Um, and the person I was with at the time, I know my hair keeps tickling her ears. <laughs> um, is at a different time in my life when uh, the person I was with didn't really like animals, but I did. And um, I wanted to get a dog. And I kept telling him, I was like, I want to get a puppy, I want to get a puppy. And he was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Do whatever you want. Which, anybody knows, that's probably not a safe thing to say to women. <laughs> so, I found her on um, adoptapet.com. Um, and which is basically, you know, all these different people who foster rescue pets. Um, or they'll be at, like, rescues and whatnot. And uh, you can adopt them from there. So, the story that came with her, and ironically, she was named Casey. <laughs> um, so, obviously, we had to change that. Crowley, you are such a snob. <laughs> Look at this dog. Um, Abby's head's not being crushed, in case you can't tell. She's, it's right next to Crowley's. Um, but, so the story that came with Abby was she was found in Georgia. Um, and... The ad said that she was a boxer mix, which I don't know if you could tell, but she's probably got about as much boxer in her as I do. <laughs> but uh, she was found in Georgia at a tire, I don't know if it was a tire kingdom or the equivalent of, but her and her sister um, was also found. And they... The person who had them before, I don't know if they were trying to make them look like boxers or what, but they decided to crop their tails. Um, I'm against cropping tails. There's no medical 
benefits to it. So I would never put my dog through that. And I think they did it not with a vet. So they, their tails were infected. Um, so I adopted this one, obviously. And I actually convinced my parents to adopt the other one. Um, and they named her Maisie, also a demon <laughs> from uh, Lucifer. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we name our dogs after demons. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, so they adopted her. And when they were puppies, I used to bring Abby over there all the time and they would play. Um, it was great. Uh, but as they got older and when we got this dude, they kind of started fighting, getting territorial. So it was too much and it's kind of hard to break dogs of that. I mean, it's possible if you put in the time and effort, but when you're dealing with big dogs and strong dogs and you're not, we're not trained to do that. It was just better that they stay apart. So she doesn't get to see Maisie anymore, which kind of sucks, but it's safer that way. Um, so that's how Abby came about. And then Crowley was when I was on my own and I decided I wanted a big dog. And conveniently, my neighbor slash friend had a, the father to, a father and mother actually, to Crowley. And uh, he was a, he is also a, I mean, Abby's a pit bull mix, obviously. Um, and Crowley is supposed to be a boxer mixed with a bull mastiff mixed with a pit. I don't know how much of that is true, but he, he does... If you Google, like, Cane Corsos, he kind of looks like that, too. So, maybe. But, um, anyways, her, the father was a big dog. So, I was like, yeah, that would be great. But, of course, you know, accidentally, the mother dog got pregnant. So, I was like, I want one of those puppies. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm I'm talking about you. <laughs> so, um, the dog... At the puppies but the funny story was you know I wanted one of these puppies before I even saw them and when the mama dog went into labor um, my friend was at work and I had helped her uh, take care of the puppy or take care of the dogs you know I'd let them out she was a nurse she was working two jobs she was a nurse and she was working at a bar so she was rarely home so I would go over when I could and let the dogs out and let them play and whatnot um, and you know keep an eye on the pregnant mama so uh, one night she was working late. She's like, I need you to make sure you go check out on her because I think she's going to have her puppy soon. So I was like, yeah, okay, no problem. And part of me was hoping, please don't have your puppies tonight because I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> because fun fact about me, I am very squeamish. I don't like, I don't like that kind of stuff. There's a reason I'm not a nurse. All power to you for those who can, but I'm not, I can't be a vet. I'm not, I'm not cut out for that. Uh, so when she told me to go over there and check on her, I was like, great. So I went over there every couple hours, check on her, and uh, she had had her first puppy when I wasn't there. Okay. I was like, oh, cool. She's having her puppies. So I text my friend, and I was like, look, she's having her puppies. I'm going to leave her alone so she can do what she needs to do. Um, I've had dogs before, uh, and that's always been how we dealt with it. Let them do what they need to do. Uh, however, my friend was like, no, 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 you need to stay there. Make sure she's okay. Okay. Now, obviously I don't have a problem with pit bulls. I don't believe the stigma of them being vicious dogs. I think any dog can be vicious. It depends on how they're raised. However, I was a little nervous being around a pit bull who was pregnant, who didn't really know me all that well. So I kind of kept my distance, you know, made sure she was doing what she was doing. I kept it, you know, like I said, kept a good distance. Um, and she was delivering her puppies. And finally, my friend came home and she was able to take over. Meanwhile, my friend wanted me to record her giving birth to the puppies, which was. So I'm trying to hold the camera without looking. That was fun stuff. So she had her puppies, whatever. And uh I wanted the, originally I wanted the first one that was, he was cute. He was the only one that was white. Uh, and the rest of them were like either, 
they were either they yeah they were all the black color which was weird because the the mom dog was like a gray color or well, a blue pit as they're called i guess <laughs> and uh the dad was like a brindle color so it was kind of weird that there was no brindle puppies um but so i wanted the one that had the most black because most of them you know had the the white chests and white paws or something but i wanted the one that was mostly black i felt like that would go great with the name crowley so uh yeah picked out him and uh my cat is more menacing than he is <laughs> as you've seen bruce you've seen the size of bruce people don't want to mess with a cat that large uh but yeah so got abby and crowley here and it was funny because before i got crowley I would ask Abby, you want a little brother? You want a little brother? And she would always like wiggle and get excited. And then her little brother kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so um, she doesn't really have a little brother. She's got a, a little big brother. <laughs> um, oh, sitting like this is hard. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> but uh, they're good dogs. They're... Um, they like to dig. I wish they wouldn't dig up my yard. So if you have any suggestions on how to fix that, uh, I've read online that if they have like a designated area to dig, they won't dig so much. So I'm thinking about getting like them a sandbox. <laughs> um, do you guys want a sandbox? Oh, here's a funny story. So I used to take this one for walks all the time. And, you know, she was, she was kind of a, a puller kind of dog. She... Is little, but she has got some muscle. Um, so when I got Crowley, I would still take them for walks all the time. And Crowley was a lot better on the leash than she was. So it was kind of funny because he's, you know, obviously a bigger dog. We had to stop that because um, one time we went to the park. Ow. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. <laughs> one time we went to the park and... Um, they saw another dog. I mean, there's the amount of people that just let their dogs run off of leashes is annoying. Like, I understand that, you know, a lot of dogs are good and they don't need to be on a leash. But you just never know what the situation is going to be when they see another dog. You don't know if they're going to be friendly to that dog or not. So, stop licking me. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I definitely I hated coming across a dog that didn't have a leash. It was like, great. I've got this almost 100 pound dog here and this little chica who can be kind of vicious when she wants to be. Um, and I was like, what am I going to do when I'm by myself? So that was always a concern. Well, one day I'm walking them and then whenever I saw a dog, even if it was on a leash or whatever, I would always go to the side and let them walk through. I didn't try to interact necessarily. Um, and neither one of the dogs would act vicious or anything like that. So I don't want you to think that I was scared of it. It was just out of more out of respect and not wanting to deal with all that tangled leashes and all that i would just step aside so one day this happened and i think it was like one of a like a border collie kind of a dog um and uh again all all parties looked like they wanted to play but uh pulled the dogs to the side and um abby wanted to really play so she started lunging towards the dog and this one decided he wanted to lunge and didn't really take much effort. And I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but I was like trying to, I guess, use my body weight to hold them down. So I was like kind of like in a squatted position holding them down. Well, that just was like the biggest mistake could possibly happen. <laughs> so I'm um, in the squatting position. She starts pulling and he's like, oh, okay, we're going to go play. So he pulls and I've got them both by the leash like this. And all of a sudden, it was like freaking cartoon or something. I am like now flying through the grass <laughs> on my knees, being pulled by these two dogs. And the guy that was holding the other dog is just standing there looking at me like, what is happening? <laughs> and they finally get up to the other dog and, you know, they're all wagging their tails and stuff and playing. And the guy's like, you OK? I'm like, can you get your dog? Can you get him away? Can you can you do that so I can get up? I'm like face, face, face first on the ground. I was so mad. I, my legs were all skinned up. I was just, uh, I was so aggravated. And I'm like, are you kidding me? 
that was the last time that I took them to the park by myself because it just wasn't happening. I was originally going to have them come to my wedding um, and like, you know, walk down the aisle, but there was just not enough time in training to do that. So we did, we ended up not doing that, which was probably best because there's a lot of stuff to worry about. So yeah, that's my funny story about being pulled by these two monsters. Um, and they're great around the baby, which I'm super grateful for, obviously. Um, they're great around my cats. <laughs> I mean, the cats are the boss in this house. Um, the dogs just kind of mind their own business and do what they do. But yeah, so those are my pets. Um, let me know, do you have any fun stories with your dogs? I am super uncomfortable, so I'm going to be ending this video. Um, so yeah, leave in the comments like any funny stories about your dogs or do you have any funny adoption stories or anything like that. Um, I've got a ton of them. If you want to hear more, let me know. Uh, make sure you like this video. Uh, it helps me get seen by others. Uh, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed. Uh, Seems like we kind of stopped at 104. What's that, guys? Come on. We gotta. We still got to keep going here. Um, I really do enjoy making these videos, but I need some ideas of what you want to see because uh, I'm obviously all over the place. So let me know what you like. Do you like the cooking channel? Do you like when I do reviews? Do you like when I just talk about my animals? Let me know. Um, also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram uh, so that way we can, we can talk. And also... If you haven't, checked out, check out my website, randomreads.com. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Have a random day, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.